What's good everybody, it's Halfway Nuts. I'll make the intro of this video real simple for you. The Frontier Starship does not have to suck. And I'm gonna prove it to you, coming up next. All right, folks, I think we really ought to talk about this starship right here. This is, of course, the Frontier, the very first starship you acquire when you start a new game in Starfield. So let's talk about it really quickly. Perhaps not the wisest decision. Seem to be just fine for you. Yeah, that's going to hurt in a minute. Anyway, so time and time again, I have seen other content creators come on YouTube and other places on social media and just crap all over this thing. That is one big pile of shit. So many people are just like, oh my god, the frontier is so bad. You need to get a new starship right now. Oh my god. Well, those guys can kiss both sides of my ass because we're going to take this thing, tear it apart, soup it up, and make it much better than it is when you first acquire it. So let's get started. Right then, here we are in the Starship Builder at Gagarin, and I think pretty much everything we need to accomplish, we can accomplish right here. There is one single part that I have to go to Hope Tech for in order to complete this build. <laughs> it's, <laughs> A, what are you going to do? Sometimes you just got to travel around to get things done. So we are going to start by deleting everything we are going to replace. We are going to get rid of these weapons. In the cockpit, we're going to repeal and replace the cockpit in the words of, what's his nuts, Trump. Yeah, I think that was Trump that said repeal and replace. Who's going to repeal and replace something? Well, yeah, anyway. Get rid of the engine, grab drive, the reactor, the fuel, the weapons. Be kind of cool if you could just fly it around like that. <laughs> anyway. So the cockpit was... Oops, I'm in the wrong place. The cockpit was the C2 cockpit, which has a cargo of 240. We're going to upgrade that to a C2X, which has a 260 cargo. And let's go to the weapons. The lasers used to be the 221P pulse laser. I'm going to go all the way down to 241s. 241p pulse lasers on either side. Okay. And next we're going to do the turret. Now the original turret was a 104 cannon. So I'm going to upgrade it to a 105 auto cannon. So not only is it going to be more firepower, but it's, then it's going to be fully automatic instead of semi-automatic. And for the missiles, what was the missile? It was this one right here. It was the Atla 270A. Well, I am going to scroll down to... Which ones do I want to pick? You know what? Let's just go for these right here. This is the uh, CE-19 missile launcher. I kind of like this one just because it's a bit lower profile. And you can tell the difference between the old one versus this one. By the way, do keep an eye on the uh, the stats at the bottom as we progress through this. Um, I do have some perk points in, like, payloads and a couple of other things. And uh, I have some uh, perk points in, like, laser weapons and missiles. I am currently at level 45 with rank 3 of piloting and rank 3 of starship design. And I also have, uh, who's on my crew at the moment? It is uh, Eric Von Price and Barrett are currently on my crew, and so that might affect stats as well. So do keep that in mind. Now what do we want to do next? Let's do fuel. We'll just go from front to back. For the fuel, I'm going to use this one. The fuel doesn't have to be too crazy. I think this is doubling the fuel capacity from what it was earlier. Or the shield. Let's go all the way. Let's 
this one. I think this one will do nicely. This is a B class, so that means I'm gonna have to upgrade my reactor, which is what I was gonna do anyway. Okay, for the reactor, what do we want for that? That one's gonna be actually quite a bit of an upgrade, if I'm being honest. It's gonna be this one right here. So I think we went from 14 reactor points all the way up to 21, which is a pretty big increase. And for the engines, we started out, the default engines are the White Dwarf 2000s. Well, I'm gonna bump it all the way up to 2030s. And that'll uh, increase the power, which you're gonna need because the the uh, upgrade to the reactor, the grav drive, the weapons, and the shields is gonna increase the weight of this, and so you're gonna need better engines. Speaking of grav drives, let's go ahead and do this one right here. Okay, and I think we are pretty much upgraded as we want to be. Now, the grav drive that was on here, the vanilla grav drive, the default one, was almost black, but not quite. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these parts and paint them as close as I could come up with to what I thought the shade of black on them was, which is uh, eight clicks from the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to do that with all these colors here. And now all three colors are matching. So, you know, normally I can usually either buy a ship or acquire a ship some way and reverse engineer the color. But I had a hard time finding this shade of black on other ships that were for sale. So I just kind of had to wing it. But that should be perfectly fine. I think we're... We're pretty much good to go already. We spent a lot of money. If you're looking at the uh, the total, we're over a hundred grand. So this is not cheap. Uh, the reason you would do this is if you're not super crazy about shipbuilding or you can't bear to part with the Frontier for some reason. Like, uh, take a look at this hab right here, the Nova Galactic Frontier hab. That's actually a unique hab. So if you delete that, you cannot get it back. So I guess uh, the reason I still have this ship around is I will actually use this ship for most everything I've been doing lately. Like, uh, you'll notice I'm not going to add cargo to this or make a bigger cargo bay under here, which you certainly could do. You could take this one right here and just put it right under there. But then you're going to be, you know, taking a huge hit to your mobility. And the last uh, couple of Starship builds, I have emphasized uh, having robust cargo. Uh, for this one, I think I'm going to favor mobility because I have a Starship that I use just for huge, you know, cargo runs. And so I use my big cargo ship for that. And then I use the Frontier for well, basically everything else. Okay, I think we're almost done, then we can go do some dogfighting with this thing, and because we have 96 mobility, which is pretty good. I do need to put one more part on this, because I pretty much have a huge problem with having open snap points. So I have to go to Hope Tech just to put an end cap on here, because I'm completely insane. So let's go do that. I lied, before we do that, we have to assign weapons, otherwise it won't let us out of the build menu. So we need to go to the pre-flight check and assign weapons because on the pre-flight check it shows the ship has weapons that must be assigned to a group so the default weapon arrangement for the frontier is lasers cannons missiles in that order so if you want it to function like it does in its default state then that's what you do all right let's take this thing over to hope tech and put one final part on here and then we will Take this out into space and wreak some havoc. Okay, here we are in the builder over at Hope Tech. So, I had to come over here all the way to Hope Tech just for this. Just for this one piece right here. I suppose there's a couple different options of what you could really do with this. You could just leave it the way it is if you don't care about having open snap points. 
I, for some reason, pretty much have a serious problem with that, so I don't tend to want to do that. You could do fuel, I suppose. You could put a fuel tank back there, and then you could put cargo over here. I'm not going to do this, though, because in my opinion, it looks kind of like truck nuts. <laughs> so, so we're not going to do that. I'm just going to put this right here, and then i got to color match it with the grav drive that it's attached to. Adjust the color and make everything match. And the colors are all now matched up, and I think it looks pretty good. That's pretty much it. I had to come all the way over here just for that, so... The ship looks pretty good. I, I think I did uh, some of the, well, most of the necessary upgrades without really changing the way the ship looks or the way it functions. I was trying to, uh, to not undermine the spirit of what this thing is and how it looks. I suppose I could have made it bigger. I could have added more habs. I could have made it longer. I could have added a ton of cargo. I could have really changed up the engines. I could make this thing look completely different. And I might do that in a future video, but for this one, I'm just trying to make upgrades. So let's take this thing out into space and find an enemy and see how it shoots and how it flies. Okay, the difficulty's on very hard, and I did find a Crimson Fleet. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a C-class uh, starship to try to destroy. We'll see how that goes. I need to upgrade... Some of my power. I need to go to... I'm just gonna dump everything into weapons. Here we go. Put the rest into shields and then engine. So far he's not putting up that much of a fight. The biggest problem is gonna be running out of ammo and having to stop and let it recharge. What is this guy's deal? Are you gonna put up any kind of a fight at all? Take him down. Is he bugged out? What the hell? Oh, no. He's not. <laughs> is he? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Why is he acting so retarded? Well, let's let me see if I can get out away from him and let, let's see if he can make this interesting a little bit. So, I can't imagine this would be very easy with anybody competent, let's put it that way. Well, that was anticlimactic. Let's go see if we can find somebody else. Here we go again. Oh, now there's two of them. Uh, yeah, I better get my shit together. Alrighty then. Oh, thrusters. Oh, there we go. We got him. I need to get rid of this guy quick. There's, a, there's two of them. Two other ones out there. Holy crap. Target shields erect. And I'm out of ammo. Target's grab drive is down. So I'm still on very so hard sorry. mode. Why are the ships acting? Unless my ship is just souped up that good. Oh, no, it's not. I am no shield now. Holy crap. Let's get this guy. Come on. Whoa. I just shot a missile on that and locked on. There we go. Got him again. Whoa! Jeez. <laughs> I think I need to call the insurance company after that one. Well, 
that could have been more entertaining, but I think we have proven that this, uh... This frontier can handle itself if you keep it, uh... If you keep it upgraded as you level up. Let's take some off the shield, put it into engines. And just see what kind of speed we can get out of this. We should be able to get almost a 600. Yeah, pretty close. I don't think I've ever seen a ship get up to 600 before. And the maneuverability is quite good. It turns out that when you don't have a shitload of cargo on your ship, or a shitload of cargo pods, you can maneuver around pretty easily. So, it's kind of a trade-off. Either you have a lot of cargo space, or you have a lot of mobility. You generally can't have both unless you have just a crap load of engines, which... The more engines you throw on a ship, in my opinion, it starts to look not so attractive. Okay, well, since we've done it to every other ship, let's go take a quick look at the interior, and then we will close up this video and be done. Now, honestly, there's not much to see in here. I mean, of course, you spawn right where this ladder is, and you're facing this way. And let's just start by looking around the rear of the ship. Thank goodness we have a lavatory, because if I can't have a spot to take a piss, that is going to make me very red and angry. And we do have just a kitchen table, dining table sort of thing with sandwiches and digi picks and food that spawns. Hi, then we have, we'll have some, how's it going? We'll have some clutter that spawns on this uh, navigation console. I'm pretty sure we have a functioning galley. Yeah, we do. You can make food over here. Soap dispensers, pots, pans, and then we have... This is the part of the hab that's unique. Sure. These, uh, I've got a minute. It's these pictures that, uh, that are posted here on the wall. And... Uh, the hat that spawns there, the broken helmet, things like that. This is all what makes it the the unique hab that oh, it is. Is mostly these posters right here and the broken helmet. So just be warned that if you get rid of this hab, you're not getting it back again. That's that's it. And of course, over here we have a research station, and that's mostly it. Where's the cargo? That's the captain's locker, and then cargo is right here. And that's it. That's the... Nice to see you. That's the hab for the frontier, as small as it is. Andresia, my goodness. Bethesda needs to fix you. Anyway, this, uh, this ship is one that I just can't bear to get rid of. I can't cannibalize it, I can't make it into something else, and I just can't sell it. Uh, I have a thing about retaining unique items that you can't repurchase or reacquire some other way later, and this is a ship that I would rather just upgrade it as I level up than, uh, than get rid of it and stop using it, especially if you are somebody who really buys into the, uh, the Constellation faction. This, this is going to mean something to you, so uh, don't let this go, because there might come a time later on in your playthrough, you know, who knows how many hundreds of hours later, where you might be wishing you still had this. Alright, that's it. That's the video for today. Questions, comments, put them in the comments section of the video. Otherwise, until next time, this is Halfway Nuts telling you, don't go nuts like she did. That's my job. I'll catch you later.